you have a Whirlpool Duet Washer and you're getting error codes F01 or F06 or E01 or E02, then please stay tuned. I have two different repairs that will show you how to fix this problem. Uh, this particular model is a model that does not have a bottom access panel. Uh, if you have a washer machine that looks like this, then just remove that bottom cover. It's very simple and skip to a minute and 56 of this video. So we'll get started by taking off the top cover. There's going to be some screws located on the back. Uh, I believe two or three screws. You're going to take those off and we're going to remove that top panel. Now we're going to remove the face plate on the top here. There's going to be two screws on the top and then you're going to take the soap dish tray out and there's going to be a screw located in there also. So we'll go ahead and get that off. Now we're going to continue to take off the front of the washing machine. Uh, we're going to take out three screws on the top here and three screws on the bottom. There's one of the screws highlighted for you. So we're going to get those screws off and then we're going to have more stuff to take apart. So our goal is to get this seal apart. But in order to get this seal apart we're going to have to go to the inside here take the drain hose out here. We're going to remove the wire harnesses here. We're going to unclip those and get those disconnected. Then right here, located in the groove between these arrows, there's going to be a wire band clamp. And you're going to have to find where it loosens and get that off there. There's another look at where that clamp's going to be. You want to get that off. As soon as that's off, we can start taking off the rubber seal there. You're going to start it from one point and just start taking it off. And remember how you took that off, you want to put that back on the same way. All right, now we're able to take that whole front panel off. All right, now we have that whole front off. Uh, here's a closer look at that clamp I was talking about. It has a screw there that tightens and loosens it. And that was located on the, the gasket for the washer there that we had to take off. So here's a look at what the problems could be. Uh, here's a look at the drain filter. It unscrews right there. A lot of times this clogs up and doesn't allow your washer to drain, which gives you those air coats. So the other problem that can go bad is the MCU, which is outlined here in red. It's that white box. Here's a closer look at it, and that's the part number for it. Uh, this is about a $300 part. I'll make sure to post a link down below. So in this particular case, it was actually the drain that was bad. Um, it was really clogged and it was keeping it from draining. And there's a closer look at it and all the gunk on it. So if you check out the drain and it does not appear to be dirty, then chances are it's the MCU. Then you're going to have to order that part I showed you earlier and get that changed out. It's pretty simple to change it out. Just a couple clips and wire harness, real easy to figure out. Also, since it's a $300 part, you want to try to order from somewhere that accepts returns. Just in case, worst case scenario, it isn't the problem. But more than likely it is. Alright, we got it all back together, everything's cleaned out. Now it's time to put it back together. So you're just going to do everything reverse. Thanks for watching. This is CLS All in One. Please subscribe.